Hello there, my YouTube friends and family. I hope some of my old YouTube subscribers have found me here. Well, I'm putting up this prophecy that I get in a letter from Dawn. And these are all good ones. All right, it starts off. It came today, July the 1st at 6.45 this morning. Anyway, it starts off small straws in a soft wind by Marsha Burns. Do not falter at this critical moment, for you are in a time of specific progression to an explicit place in the spirit. It is important that you refuse to get discouraged in this process and that you resist and overcome the urge to quit. Be strong and take the time to renew your belief in me to bring you through every challenge and victory. I am the victorious one and you belong to me. The verse put with this is Matthew 12 20. A bruised reed he will not break and smoking flax he will not quench till he sends forth justice to victory. Okay, the next one. These are all dated for today, July 1st. The situation you are in is a challenging one. I know that, but you are an overcomer. Pause. The first one and this one even the next one <laughs> it's like these were all written for me <laughs> I tell you what I wonder how many of you think that but these are written for more than just the person who got them all right let me start over the situation you are in is a challenging one I know that but you are an overcomer I can see that by the way you have handled events of the past these times in the past have catapulted you into my arms. That is like, I was like, oh, Lord, that is so true. Don't let it stop you now. You will get through this with style, my style. There are other challenges to come. And you are maturing in love, peace, and strength. Keep it up, precious one. You see how much he loves us. He's not just calling this person or me or one person a precious one. We are all precious to him. Here's the verse. It's from the Message Bible, James 1.12. Anyone who meets a testing challenge head on and manages to stick it out is mighty fortunate. For such persons, loyally in love with God, the reward is life and more life. That was given to Bev Robinson. The next one is uh, don't feel slighted. Oh, I'm sorry. Slighted. Don't feel slighted. Everyone experiences con connectivity issues. Connectivity issues. I am continually streaming like Wi-Fi in your life for my purposes. Things you do and say are always being tweaked here and there by my spirit. Just like a river that meanders through the fields, forests, hills, and plains, I cause the flow within your banks to achieve a determined destiny from my throne. There is power in my current that feeds into its movement. And the verse given with this one is John 7, 37-38. And it's the N-O-G 
Bible. I forgot. I I looked that up. I can't remember what it stands for. It's kind of new, I think. Okay, here's the verse. On the last and most important day of the festival, Yeshua was standing in the temple court in the temple courtyard. He said loudly, "Whoever is thirsty must come to me and drink to drink. Excuse me. He must come to me to drink." As scripture says, Streams of living water will flow from deep within the person who believes in me. Unquote. And that was given to Kevin Robinson. Uh, this last one I was not sure of, but I'm going to go ahead and put it out and you see what you think. Zeros, ones, and twos are in today's date. Your life will reflect one of these numbers. Zero. Many today love and serve no one. They are on a path directed by the enemy. One. Those who only love and serve themselves are also on a path of self-destruction. Two, many of you have read and understood my word and live according to its principles. The secret to living is to live by the two. And this is the verse that came with it. Mark 12, 30 and 31 in the NAS. That's New American Standard. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. And this was put up by Jonas Bolin. So, this is kind of like a, a, it's just he's talking more modern. You take it to the Lord, take it for what it's worth, live by the two. Loving the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's the two commandments Jesus gave. Okay. With that I say, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every person who, who watches this. I plead the blood over our computers and our internet connections and pray that this channel will stay up so I can at least bring prophecies and words from the Lord as he leads me until we're out of here, until first fruits leave and all negative comments that are put up by a certain person will just be deleted don't bother arguing with me I just I don't have it in me to argue with you it doesn't matter what scriptures I come up with you're gonna come up with more and it's just gonna it's you're ridiculous and you I'm trying to block you and I will just delete 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 don't bother replying to this person. She does not have love in her heart. And she she's not worth arguing with. Alright. Leave her in God's hands and let, let God deal with her. With that, I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.